so first we have to plan what we're gonna make and then we have to go out and get everything and then come back and prep everything and then I believe everyone is coming at around six o'clock okay um, so let's start figuring out what we want to make for them All right. today Ita and I are cooking a thank you dinner for everyone who has helped us throughout the journey of our first launch. So let's get it cooking. So we have eight people. Good, sturdy side dishes, just such as you know, crispy potatoes. I was thinking that I was uh, for a side dish, I'll do a uh, like paella, but a like cream paella. I'm also into like you know, I'm I'm, I'm, very, I'm into classy flavors. Like what's good goes good steak. It's very. I like how we have different approach towards that uh, towards cooking because I feel like you're more on the creative side. You like to learn different features. No, I like to I like to I like to I like to share showcase when it feels right. So like with the steak, I don't want to do anything with salt. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, let's make a list and then we'll go straight to the store after. Okay. Hi. Rosemary. You got the butter. specialize in A5 Japanese Wagyu, uh, which is the top grade of meat you can find anywhere in the world. We also have a premium caviar line that has our own, and we also have premium soy sauces, yakiniku sauces, ponzus, Ooh. seasonings, and things like that. So what's the inspiration behind the name Kai? And how'd you get started in like, the Wagyu business? Yeah, so it's kind of interesting. Um, I was living in Japan previously. Are you Japanese? Uh, no, I'm not, okay. which is the funny part. Okay. <laughs> uh, but my business partner, he's from Japan, born and raised in Japan. Okay. Um, we were out there doing business and COVID happened, so it kind of shut down everything. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a customer. <laughs> no, okay. Hello. 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 It's all good. Can we vlog? Welcome to Kai Wagyu. Yeah. I think Wagyu steak is, yeah, you gotta save it for like special occasions because you can't eat this every week. Exactly. You know, it gets a little bit too much. Exactly. Who says you can't eat it every, every, every week? Yes, well, you were in Japan? Yeah, so I was in Japan uh, for a while and when I was in Japan, I could get Wagyu in any supermarket. Like anybody could get it. Right. But when I'm here and I thought about A5 Wagyu, you can only get it in Michelin level restaurants. You gotta pay 200, 300 bucks right. for a small amount. Right. You know, well, how can I make right. it more accessible? For right. And I think what you're providing here is also like a learning experience. What do you recommend as like perfect, like portion and, and size and type uh, for, for like eight people? So I think definitely the most popular that everybody starts with is gonna be the ribeye. This is probably BMS 11. Okay. Maybe BMS 9. So what is BMS? So that's called beef marbling score. Okay. So A5 ranges from 8 to 12. Mm -hmm. So even within A5, there's levels. You're BMS 2. <laughs> <laughs> it's like body fat. But for, <laughs> for what would you say stands your like Wagyu business apart from like other places that sell like Wagyu? Um, mm -hmm. We're not from the meat industry. We're not from the butcher industry. Interesting. So we wanted to really take a modern take on what it is. You know, uh, people our age, I feel like we would be intimidated going to a butcher shop. Right. You know, how do you order this? Like, right, what right. do I do here? Right. So what we really <laughs> wanted to create was a modern take on it. Right. And something here that's so simple, um, luxurious, premium, takes you to Japan, the style and aesthetics of Japan. And we really care about the customer experience. So with every purchase, everyone gets a certificate. Mm. It shows the tracking number of the cattle and everything like that. So you know it's authentic and real. Mm. And every time, every purchase, we come with like a nice gift box or a nice insulated bag. You know, we don't care that this costs extra money or whatever. We just want people to feel this is a premium experience and something like in Japan, you have the nicest packaging, the nicest experience. And that's something that you can't have everywhere. Yeah. You know? So that's really what we wanted to create. And then let's go over here. This is the second most popular. This is a strip loin or New York steak. This is going to be, we call it the happy medium because it's still going to have that richness and that flavor of A5. 
but there's still more of a chew to mm -hmm. it. Having both is good. Gotcha. So let's get you one of these okay. guys. Oh crap. This confused like probably 10 people to be honest. This is like Disneyland for me. It really is. I love how you were saying that you're building an experience. It's not just about the meat, it's about the way you present it and how you showcase it and how you give people that thing to remember by. Because right. you walk in the place and, it, I mean, it's next to a subway and the 7-Eleven, so you don't expect anything, yeah. <laughs> you know? And then but you come in and you're just like, wow, this feels like I stepped into, like, a corner of Japan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On to the next spot. Arrived. Three. We need to get mushrooms, shallots, bacon, onions, kimchi, scallions, and potatoes and asparagus and garlic. What are you doing? What are some uh, cake wallets? Uh -huh. Okay. Good? Uh, I'm just hungry right now. <laughs> game plan. Yeah, game plan. Prep the rice first. Mm -hmm. Okay. You leave because I don't have to make paella at all. Okay. Yeah. So we do all the cutting. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Nick. Um, we'll do all the cutting, mm -hmm. all the vegetables, all the prep, okay. and then once that's done, we'll cook the rice. Mm -hmm. And then after we cook the rice, we get that ready. Right. Then we'll lay everything out so when everyone gets here, right. then we can just like cook, cook. everything yep. and just fresh. It done. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, yeah. chef. It's like it's like making fried rice. We chef. All right. We chef. All right. We chef. Let me put on my apron, chef. Knives are sharp enough to cut some onions, huh? Fudge! Yeah. Ah. I got a better job right here. <laughs> Please check quality, Chef. Ooh. Okay, hey, you want? Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Perfect, Chef. Okay, Chef. Thank you, Chef. You're welcome, Chef. All right, Chef. That's what I just... This is fourth, like, potato. And he you said that he, he needs no, to no, taste, taste test. Taste test. He's had smaller ones, and he said that he has to try the bigger one. All right, really good. No, I wait. Now you turn this, Chef. Not Korean wasabi. Uh, no, I mean, wasabi taste test. <laughs> Dude, it's actually flavorful. It's not strong. It's not strong. Really, it's just flavorful. It's actually sweet. Strong, really? like peppery taste. No, no, no. There's not actually. There's not just wasabi. There's like a little texture in it. Really? Yeah. Everyone, welcome, Mr. John Kim. They're really just slapping meat right so there. It's like a bunch of bad, right? Okay, Jeff and the Kai. <laughs> Best supplier of Wagyu ever.
get you out. I'm the best cook out here. I got a knife. Hot. What it sounds like? Some good eggs. This is for everyone on the table. Um, me and Nita, I just want to say thank you to John, Kai, John Chi, Mom, Cerise, Sarah, Kylie and Spirit, Dad. Um, we just obviously started, me and you, but like having you guys play such a strong commitment to the brand for something that's just so new really means a lot. And um, we couldn't have we really couldn't have done it with you guys in terms of like making what we wanted to happen happen, you know? And so with that being said, everything here that's on the table is sort of just the least of our compensation mm -hmm. of your time <laughs> and your work. No, seriously, no, seriously. <laughs> I don't know why you're so nervous. I can't do anything around this guy anymore. Because you were laughing. Oh my god! I'm trying. I'm trying to thank everyone on the I table, know. and all I hear is. <laughs> oh my god! No, I, I was actually gonna make a toast. Okay, then yeah, just make yeah, toast. Yeah. No, I mean, that's not a rush. Let's come down. Okay. The food is getting right. cold. Okay, I won't make a toast then. No, then make it. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Make just make a toast. Can we take a deep breath real quick? Let's take a deep just breath. Just make a toast. <laughs> no, no, for real, Sean. Let's take a deep just breath. Just make a toast. <laughs> yeah, see, everyone else is doing it. Let's make a toast. It's okay. Wait, was that your toast? Is that, That's it? Dude, just say it. No, I just want to say that, you know, I'm very grateful for, you know, all of us for being here and for, you know, especially you guys for believing in us. I know that the video production and photo production took a long time. <laughs> I was actually talking to Sean, you know, today when he made that speech post-production, uh, post post-shoot, that you guys really believed in us. You know, there wasn't really any benefit to gain for, for you guys. And it's the belief that keeps driving us and that's gonna help us reach to a higher ground. And that motivates us as well. So thank you guys for being so nice and so supportive. So today we have a kimchi paella with French scrambled eggs. And then we have two sides incredibly made by Chef Yitai. Um, basically roasted potatoes, asparagus, simple roasted asparagus and beef fat. And then on this plate we have an Australian Wagyu, and then we have A5 Japanese Wagyu on top of a bed of shallots, garlics, and mushrooms, and then we have very fresh wasabi on the sides. Um, and this is all courtesy of Kai Wagyu um, of Costa Mesa. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, just uh, thank you guys again and enjoy. So.